What's up everyone, this is FP Sticks bringing you some practice Go Battle League battles here uh, in the Master League. And what I mean by practice Go Battle League battles, uh, I'm essentially just doing some Master League battles um, with some of my patrons here to help me train and... Uh, because I need a new team. I need a new team really bad. Um, yesterday when I was streaming on Twitch, uh, which by the way, you should all check me out on Twitch at FP6Pogo. Um, I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description. But um, I was getting smacked around, man. I was trying to use the same team that I had been using in the past. But I feel like more and more people are watching my YouTube videos of the specific team that I'm running. Um, and they know how to counter it really well, that uh, Mel Metal Dialga Togekiss team. So, uh, with in this video, I'm using these three different teams here. Um, one being Giratina, Mewtwo, and Metagross. One being Giratina, Rhyperior, and Machamp. One being Kyogre, Dialga, and Togekiss. So, uh, I really enjoyed some of these teams, and then some of them had some just major glaring weaknesses that you will see within the course of this video. But, uh, so let's kind of see how some of these teams play out. Uh, tonight, when I'm streaming on Twitch, I will hopefully be running one of these teams. Um, something new, just to kind of see how it works. I was getting smacked around by so many Kyogres and Snorlaxes, especially. So, here's a scenario where I really enjoy having Dragon Pulse on my Giratina. Instead of running the classic Ominous Wind and Shadow Ball moveset, um... Specifically for this matchup right here, because Dragon Pulse does about a third of Snorlax's health, um, which is really great, because otherwise you're totally walled in that scenario. I bring out Metagross, I'm going to throw the Meteor Mash, I get the last shield off the Snorlax, which is really great. This is probably going to be an Earthquake, and it's going to be able to take me out. But that is okay. Again, because I am running Dragon Pulse here, I'm going to be able to get to it. This is only going to be a Body Slam, which I heavily resist as Giratina. And so then the Dragon Pulse will be able to take it out. So I'll be able to take this first game here. These first battles are up against one of my patrons, um, JKG5150. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. Looks like now we're rolling with the um, Giratina, Rhyperior, and Machamp. This line of three is insanely weak to Togekiss, like insanely weak to Togekiss, especially since my Rhyperior is running Mud Slap. Um, so I would not recommend this team of three. Uh, again, like you really learn the weaknesses of your team through battling, I find. And so uh, in some of these future matches, I run into one of my patrons, he's running a Togekiss and it just totally absolutely demolishes this line of three. But if there is no Togekiss, this does fairly well. Essentially, I built this team around uh, totally supporting my Giratina against Dialga or Melmetal. So both Rhyperior and Machamp can totally handle um, totally handle Melmetal, can totally handle Dialga. And Machamp can really handle Snorlax, which is great because as we know, it's one of the hardest walls to Giratina. So I'm not going to shield up this Body Slam. Machamp is still fairly glassy, so that does a decent amount, but out comes the Metagross. We're actually both hitting each other for super effective damage right now, so I do need to shield up the Meteor Mash. It would hit me for a lot of damage there, but my Mud Slap damage is really adding up on this Metagross, and I know I'm going to be able to Mud Slap farm it down. Out comes Snorlax. I lose... Uh, or this Body Slam is going to come through, but because I'm running Super Power on my Rhyperior here, this is going to um, really threaten this last shield, and I have enough for another Super Power. I farmed up to like 100 energy there, it looked like. That was absolutely insane. This is going to hit for Super Effective and be able to take out that Snorlax there. Good game. So now I'm going to roll with this Kyogre Dialga Togekiss team, which I literally th thought of this team like last night while I was about to go to bed after I got rocked by so many Kyogres. This team functions very similarly to my old team, but all I did was swap in Kyogre instead of um, Melmetal. I got absolutely sick and tired of dealing with Melmetal mirror matches because it's so it's so random. 
um, based on whether or not you're going to win out that match. And what happened to me a lot of times is that when my opponent would also have a Mel Metal, if they weren't going to win out that matchup, they could make a safe swap into um, like uh, Giratina. A lot of people would uh, switch in Giratina after my Mel Metal had been crazy debuffed and farm it down. And I didn't have a really solid response to that. Um, so I, I, I think that this team is a little bit better. Kyogre is great if you can catch a uh, Togekiss in the lead, or a Snorlax is pretty decent, a Melmetal is totally fine, even though you do lose that matchup in the two-shield scenario, hardly anyone plays out that two-shield scenario. I am going for the Blizzard on this Giratina here. If this hits, it's going to one-shot. Boom! The Blizzard connects, Giratina gets one-shot it, and Togekiss goes down. Good games there. These next battles are against another one of my patrons, Good Little Squid. So thank you so much for supporting the channel as well. Rolling with this first team here. Okay, this is a favorable matchup for me. They utilize their Dialga as a safe swap. And I didn't really know what to do here. Um, I think Mewtwo is in a, a pretty solid choice for Master League, but it's very contingent on you having a shield advantage or being able to get a significant energy advantage and successfully bait. I am running Psy Strike and Focus Blast on my Mewtwo, which I really enjoy that moveset because you can one-shot a Dialga, you could one-shot a Snorlax, you could one-shot a Melmetal, like all of these things. Probably one-shot a Rhyperior too because it's hidden super effective on all those things. Um, so if I were to run this first team here, Giratina, Mewtwo, and Metagrass, I would probably put a Melmetal in the back just so I'm not so weak to um, Giratina Origin. I could also put a, I could put a Dialga in the back. Um, I don't know, I, I do like the combination of Giratina and Mewtwo because what this does is if you get a favorable lead with the Giratina, people are most likely gonna switch into Dialga. And so, in theory, I would want something that would be able to hard counter that really well. So, Melmetal in the back would be pretty nice. Maybe even a Rhyperior. But then I'm kind of entering into territory where I'm super weak against Kyogre. I might run Rhyperior as a third pick. That could be pretty solid in this first team. Because Mewtwo can put in so much work in the right scenarios. It is very glassy, so you need to save some shields for it. And as we can see, the, the Togekiss really uh, wrecked that team there because I wasn't able to get Metagross on it there. Rhyperior would be interesting, uh, but then I'd have that weakness to Togekiss again. So maybe Melmetal is the answer there. Who knows? I might try that line. That seems fairly decent. This is amazing right here. Um, this is like the dream scenario when you can get your Rhyperior locked into the Dialga, but if the Dialga gets a three Dragon Breath advantage, um, you're going to get double Iron Headed. And I was just barely too slow, barely too slow, literally like a half second too slow of getting my Rhyperior in this matchup. So I have to commit two shields here, which is not ideal. Out comes Kyogre. I really want to be able to land two Rock Wreckers here. He actually lets that go through, and then he's able to waterfall me down. Absolutely brutal. Here's the... Oh, man. And he's running the same line of three, and we know that this line of three is crazy weak to Togekiss. Out comes Togekiss. I have to bait here and land a rock slide, but it ain't going to happen. Togekiss is going to melt this line. Again, you really discover these weaknesses when you're playing out these matchups. So I saw that Togekiss come out, and I'm like, it is over, man. It is so over. I'm going to get hit by an Ancient Power. Shadow Ball is not going to be enough to KO this Togekiss. And Good Little Squid is actually running uh, my third team there. The Kyogre Dialga Togekiss. So we're going to be headed into a mirror match after this uh, game right here. And so we'll see how that goes. But Togekiss absolutely demolished me there. Here we go. Assuming that he's going to run the same line of three, this is going to be a mirror match here. Here we go. I am running Blizzard on my Kyogre, not Thunder. But he doesn't know that. And so I always build up to a Thunder and then throw the Surf as the bait there. Let's see if I get a shield. I get a shield. Absolutely amazing for me. So I'm going to switch into my Dialga. 
If this was a Thunder, it would have been amazing. It's only a Seraph. That's fine as well. Here comes the Dialga switch in. I have a very, very slight energy advantage. Um, and because my health is so low, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to two Iron Heads. He actually let that Iron Head through, so there could be a case to be made that I could have shielded that up and then Dragon Breath farmed it down. But I will take the shield advantage, and I'm actually going to come in and go for a crazy aggressive farm down um, with... Oh, okay, with Togekiss. I thought I was going to come in with Kyogre and go crazy with that, but I'm worried that he has... I'm worried about what he has in the back. Well, assuming it's the same line of three, we know that it's his own Togekiss. <laughs> but if he did have a Melmetal or something, um, I wanted to be able to kind of get my Kyogre on that. But out comes the Togekiss, and I land the Surf on it. This is actually absolutely amazing for me. I am going to be able to get to another Surf. This is definitely going to threaten that last shield. Or he's just going to let the Togekiss goes down, go down. He farms me down. I lose the CMP here. I will shield this up. And then this Ancient Power is going to be enough to take out his Togekiss. I know his Kyogre, Kyogre is going to come out and drop a Surf on me. But I will be able to survive that. And then I should barely be able to charm down this Kyogre. Very good game there. I like that third team there, even in that mirror match. Okay, going up against 17 Kaloi, another patron. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I can't remember if I'm running my first or second team here. I might have misclicked, but we are in this Giratina mirror match, and I do not have Ominous Wind, so I cannot bait at all. I have to go straight Shadow Ball, and he threw the Ominous Wind so early there that I knew it was going to be Ominous Wind, so no need to shield there. I get a shield. No matter what this is, I will shield up the next uh, attack. Thank goodness that they increased the energy cost for Ominous Wind, because I can actually totally play this out. Oh, man. They switch in Dialga. Really good move on their part. Okay, this is actually the second team. So I bring out my Machamp, because now my Machamp gets to totally avoid that Giratina. I do have to shield this up, though. Iron Head would hit me for so much damage. I'm anticipating the Giratina to come back out, so I want to land a Rock Slide on it. I go straight Rock Slide here. This will hit for a decent amount of neutral damage. Yeah, not too bad there. Really want to get to a second Rock Slide. Could have possibly thrown the Cross Chop there to threaten that last shield, but he goes for Ominous Wind, and then I'm an idiot and click on Cross Chop because I didn't think that I'd get to the Rock Slide here. Dang it. Oh, but Melmetal came in, and so it was actually good <laughs> that I threw the cross shop. And then Rhyperior is going to be able to farm this down. A superpower is going to hit for a lot of damage, but I'm hoping my Mudslap can take it out. In time, it does. I have a Rock Wrecker stored. Going straight for the Rock Wrecker here. This is definitely going to get the last shield. This Mudslap damage is adding up, and I'm able to take out the Giratina. Good first game there. He was making some amazing swaps. I just, uh, because I threw the wrong move, it actually worked out not so great for him. That's kind of funny. Okay, we're in the Giratina mirror match again. I think this is where Mewtwo goes on an absolute spree here. Like, just perfect alignment for Mewtwo. So again, I don't have Ominous Wind, so I'm just going straight Shadow Ball. People are... Uh, like, there's no way that someone no-shields a Shadow Ball in this opening mirror match. Like, you're always going to get a shield there. Um, but I, I did no-shield that again in the beginning and called his bluff with the Ominous Wind. He might even be running Ominous Wind Dragon Pulse. I, I can't remember if we've seen Shadow Ball yet. I get the second shield and I bring out Mewtwo. And because he's so slow to make a decision here, I'm able to get to the Psy Strike. And this is going to take out the Giratina. Time for a Mewtwo sweep, everyone. Mewtwo sweep. Let's go. Out comes Melmetal. Yo, if I drop a Focus Blast on this thing, it's going to get nuked. I don't even shield up that Rock Slide. Out comes Dialga. This is like the most beautiful thing ever. Wow. Wow. Dialga gets one-shotted by a Mewtwo with Focus Blast. It's so amazing. I'm up a shield. I'm just bringing in my Giratina to uh, absorb this damage. I actually will shield up this Rock Slide. I really want to get to a Shadow Ball. 
So I store up a Shadow Ball and then I switch in my Metagross. All I need to do is hit an Earthquake here. And he knows it's over, so he's just going to let me land the Earthquake here. Good game there. That's a great example of how effective Mewtwo can be with a Shield Advantage. There's almost nothing that can stop it, honestly, if you have a Shield Advantage. Because even against Giratina, the Psy Strike does so much damage as we saw there. All right, not a favorable lead for me. I am rolling with the third team right now. I switch in Dialga. He is so quick to switch in his opposing Dialga. Very nice swap on his part. He shields up the Iron Head. And I'm not able to get to a second Iron Head. He fully committed to the farm down. Really great play. Really great play on his part. I'm going to go for a very aggressive farm down with my Kyogre here. He baits me with Iron Head, and then look what happens. I, I didn't know what his second move was. I thought he was only going to get to two Iron Heads. No, it's a Thunder. So it's game over at this point. I totally just like let him have this match here. Um, so this kind of has me worried. I do like this third team, Kyogre, Dialga, and Togekiss, but I really need to think about how I'm going to play out that scenario if they switch in their own Dialga onto my Dialga. And he still had Melmetal in the back. What a boss. Totally just outplayed me there. If they make such a fast swap like that, I don't know. The Shadow Claw damage still really hurt from the Giratina, so my health was already lowered. I had to throw a move anyways to get some shields, but now we're going up against T-Swift, number one fan. They like Taylor Swift, so shout out to them. Giratina mirror match. Let's see how this is going to go. Again, I don't have Ominous Wind. I have to go straight Shadow Ball here. So I am running my first team in the lineup here. Giratina, Mewtwo, and Metagross. The entire team is weak to Giratina, so I got to get this Giratina out of there. I get a shield. Very surprised that Niantic still hasn't fixed that visual bug where the shield doesn't appear. They make all these amazing updates to like the health bar and stuff, but you can't change the glitch where the shield doesn't show up. Like it's the little details that Niantic consistently overlooks, which is kind of frustrating, but it's all right. I get the second shield. Out comes Mewtwo. We're going to go try to go for a Mewtwo sweep here. I will shield up whatever this is, and it actually is a Shadow Ball, so good thing I shielded that. Out comes Dialga. I'm going to over farm here and one shot it with a Focus Blast, and I still have some residual energy, so if the Giratina comes in, I'm going to Psy Strike it. This is so amazing, and Mewtwo would win the CMP tie anyways. Mewtwo just one shot at a Dialga, it just took out a Giratina. Melmetal in the back. I'm just going to go straight for the Psy Strike here to put on as much chip damage as possible. Uh, because I knew he's going to try to get rid of this. Uh, they were going to try to get rid of this Mewtwo as quickly as possible. So I have a lot of options here, but Metagross just needs to land an Earthquake and I win this. And the Melmetal is not going to be able to get to three superpowers, which is how much it takes to take out this Metagross. I actually just go for the... Meteor Mash here. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? I thought that'd be enough. That was dumb. I should have just went for the Earthquake. But a good game there. Mewtwo, man. Shield advantage. Look what it does. I think that's a very solid strategy. Very solid strategy. But I would have to probably change up that third Pokemon and bring in Melmetal. So not a favorable lead for me. And my secondary team here, I do not have an answer for Dragonite. I also don't have an answer for Togekiss, so this second team sucks. Don't run this team. This is bad. <laughs> um, yeah, this is brutal, so I'm just going to go straight for the Shadow Ball here, but I essentially have no play. I switch in a Machamp on a Dragonite. <laughs> Out comes Togekiss. Oh my gosh. He's running Togekiss and Dragonite, which I have, I have no responses for either of those. By some miracle, I landed the... Um, the rock slide on the Togekiss, but I don't have options here. I bring out Giratina. I need to get to this Shadow Ball to at least threaten this last shield. And he still has Dragonite in the back. I'm not even able to get to that Shadow Ball. No, no. Oh my gosh. I have to commit to the fast move farm down here. 
No point in shielding this up. It's only going to be an ancient power. Yo, that's that's straight trash right there. Out comes Dialga, but he's going to Dragon Breath me down. Superpower is going to drop my defense and attack anyways. This is so rough, man. Yeah, very confident win by him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, double superpower. Takes me out. Good game. Okay, we're going with this uh, third team now. Let's see how this goes. A lot of people like to lead Giratina. Oh my gosh. This is a very favorable matchup for me. But my Togekiss in the back is also going to have a favorable matchup. So out comes their Dialga. I bring out my own Dialga. And because I got the slight damage advantage uh, with my Kyogre, I just need to mirror shields here and uh, be able to win out this matchup. Based on team comp, there are some scenarios where switch advantage is more important, but there are some scenarios where a shield advantage and farm down potential is more important. So right here, I know I can bring out my Kyogre, which already has a favorable matchup against his Tyranitar. What else could be in the back? It's a Togekiss in the back, so um, I doubted that there would be a Giratina in the back, but even if there was a Giratina... Um, I would still have some play there because Togekiss would be able to just absolutely go to town and I could possibly build up to a blizzard to nuke that thing. So Ancient Power is not going to be enough to take me out, but I switch into my own Togekiss to charm this down and Tyranitar is going to get obliterated. Um, let me know if you guys like these videos. It's time to try out some new teams. Let me know what teams have been working for you guys out there. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, head on over to my Patreon. The link will be down in the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.